Hey you guys, welcome back to the Cushion Wax Connection channel. I'm Elena and I'm happy to be back and reviewing a sour diesel today. We had many comments of people asking, hey, how about diesels or what's up with diesels? Let the people know about diesels. Well, hey, LA, we've got some sour D to review and check out today. Sour diesel. It's called Sour D and a diesel because it does have that diesel scent to it. It's very pungent, earthy. The smell is very light and pleasing to the nose. The color of it is very light green. Nice texture, not dense like a typical indica. It's more of like a soft. It kind of looks like bubbly nugs that's how it kind of grows and that's how it gets to differentiate that it's a diesel it's got nice little light orange hairs the texture of this sour diesel is nice and fluffy but not so fluffy that it breaks up so easily there's nice orange hairs on it and the way that you can distinguish a sativa sour diesel it's because the nugs look like little bubble nugs, that's the way I like to describe them. Really great early smell. Now, my favorite part, testing it out. Sour Diesel is very easy to break up. It's not sticky like an indica or some other flowers might be, so you don't have to worry about it getting stuck to your fingers. Diesels don't have too much of a strong taste to them so I'm going to give it a little flavor with this grape swisher. Now since I want to add a little flavor to the sour diesel I'm going to roll up a blunt with the grape swisher using this easy blunt splitter helps you gut your swisher in less than a second and splits it perfectly. So this blunt is being nicely rolled. Sour diesel is really nice to handle in a blunt. It sticks together quickly and it's not too flaky that it's like falling all over the place. Ta-da! Nice and Just roast it a little bit. Wow, it's the perfect combination of a grape swisher with the sour D. Tastes fruity, earthy. Definitely a picker-upper. Now for my favorite part, the taste test. Definitely a diesel and it's got that amazing diesel taste to it. For people who are hands-on like me, we like, I like sewing, there's people who like sewing, writers out there, just people who roll blunts constantly or joints, you know, we're constantly moving our wrists and hands and sometimes it can get a little bit of an ache and when you can't reach for a joint on the spot, this Bear Bomb is something I'd recommend. It is cannabis concentrated. And once you rub it on, your pores are breathing the cannabis, so it helps relax whatever pain you have. For me, it would be my wrist. So just rub a generous amount. And give it about five, five minutes, and the effects are almost instant. And for you girls who love to smoke, or wintertime's coming along, your lips are gonna get chapped, the Bear Balm's also good for that. Just apply, small amount. And it's super refreshing. It's got a great minty scent to it, so smelling it just helps you automatically relax. 
So my grandmother, you know, she suffers from arthritis and she told me the other day, aspirin's just not doing it anymore. It's not taking the pain away. And I suggested, hey, we have some bear balm available that's out there and it's instant relief. She started using it and now it's the only thing she uses and she says it's better and more effective than aspirin. And she was concerned at first because she didn't want to smell like cannabis or marijuana. Surprisingly, this has a very aroma like therapy kind of scent to it like lavender mixed with like a little bit of mint so it's refreshing and relaxing and zero cannabis smell it doesn't even smell like marijuana i don't know if you guys are familiar with bird's bees products or chopsticks but the smell compares to it, it comes close but with a more relaxing lavender t hint to it <laughs> These products are completely amazing, beautiful flower, and very soothing bear balm. Don't forget to check out Go Green Bear where you can get these amazing products. Thanks for tuning in, you guys. Till next time, don't forget to subscribe.